She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket, new enough to still have all its teeth. Mm. Mm. Creepy. Absolutely creepy. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. Okay. Back. Well, this one. These keys. keys are for the cabin and the car. And? There's if three. the keys are here, does she have her spare? What's that say? Something about a hospital? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse, but we rarely lock it anyway. Oh. I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Huh. Should get a new one. Huh. We also have a key for the outhouse. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, can't yeah. be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one Dearest, comes here anyway. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusions shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. Okay. And then you toppled yeah. us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing, the luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Oh yeah. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant like remnants of a broken dream. So... I'm guessing she's probably dead? I don't know if someone would write something like that if she did write it and then just leave nothing back back somewhere in here in our private refuge there must be something that reminds me of her a window it's a beautiful day though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. Cool. Got to uh, circle over here. Can I go this way? Let's go this way. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. Of course. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. Okay, there must have been... Yeah, there must have been an accident. That's why... The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. 
think there might have been an accident and he survived but with memory loss and she is probably dead. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. Ooh. Shirt. Of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things <coughs> deteriorated. Goddamn. You busy. In the chair, on the table, in that chair, in the bed, top of the closet, on the roof of the house. The most comfortable spot there in the go. cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. What's this window? This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? He's a perv! No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. What? The chest? This? Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niav of the ice blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet O'Sheen goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the land of youth and promise. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones, fairies. Huh. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. The old Weird country. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. Okay, yeah. The elemental imagery Please is evocative, the but the big enough for a lifetime of... Oh. We hated guns, so we, we found this trunk at a flea market. Ah. We used to love rummaging around those in our early what am I years. Missing? What? Let's go over here. Let's inspect the books again. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. That's I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Can't grab anything. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. A lot of rarities and special editions all here. All the same. Can't open that. That I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. What do I do? Truth be told, not all the cooking she did was a resounding success. Uh, we agreed to never attempt doing ravioli again. What? Ravioli's easy. You silly dolt. Here, give me that. Don't be such a child. I think it dates from the colonial era, probably brought over by the pilgrims. Ravioli does? Or this, the stove? It belongs in a museum. Yeah, I thought so. Anything else? The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. What's this? Picture... With what? Nothing about it? Really? Okay. Go here. Go to here. Uh, Look what I made, hun. In case we ever need to sweep something under the carpet. See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug I remembered from my nursery. I must have been like three or four, but it always stuck with me. And no trap door under there, just more creaky floor. I wasn't looking for a trap door. Okay, maybe I was, but you don't know that. Clothing. Clothing.
Okay, did we miss something in here then? Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside. I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. <gasps> he hated flowers. Maybe I should have let her bring some plants inside. She liked them a lot. Yeah, yeah, you should A plant is a plant. Beautiful to some, boring to others. But they're f flowers. Flowers are they pretty. They say these things are alive. If they are, it must be a horrible existence. Confined in their own silent, dark world. Kind of like you. We have much more interesting things than this plant inside the cabin. Like my books. A plant is a plant. Yeah. Beautiful to some, boring to others. I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Hmm. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. Is there... What is that? Dream catcher that I can't investigate. Oh. For some reason, light bulbs wouldn't last long in this lamp. I never looked into it. Two days, three days tops, and BAM! A brand new light bulb would burn out. Weird. There are no monsters under the bed. Okay. Whenever her lamp didn't work, Serena would come by my side to read. A few moments later, she would lay her head down on my chest and fall asleep. The only reason this lampshade gathered less dust than the other one was that we had to keep putting new bulbs in this one. Because of a wiring problem or whatever, this one always starts smelling sharply of metal.